This is Tara from PaddedTushStats.com and in this video we're going to go over the G-Diaper All-in-Two Hybrid Cloth Diaper System. For this particular diaper we received 38 survey responses from owners of the diaper and in the video I'm going to walk you through things that they said about it and the features of it. The diaper comes in five sizes. There's newborn, small, medium, large, and extra large. The covers are made with G-Breathe technology that's intended to help promote airflow and prevent rashes. It's made out of 92% cotton and 8% spandex. The diaper has this stretchy fabric on the legs to allow for a trim fit while still being gentle up against the baby's skin. The diaper comes with a hook and loop closure that closes in the back. There are also laundry tabs so that you can secure down the closure and it won't snag on other items in the wash. What makes this diaper an all-in-two is the waterproof lining on the inside that can snap in and out or you can just wipe it down between changes and put in a new insert. You have two options for inserts in this diaper. There are the G refills, and these are the disposable inserts. They're made out of cellulose, fluff pulp, and super absorber. They are 100% biodegradable, and actually what you can do is you can flush it right down your toilet. To do so, there's this dotted line across the insert. You just wanna tear it there, shake out the inside of what's in there, Put everything in the toilet, give it a good stir if you have like a stick or something, and then you can flush it away. There are two sizes for these G refills. There are ones that fit into the newborn to small diapers, and then the other ones fit in the medium to extra large diapers. Then there are the G cloth. Now these are the reusable inserts. They're made of two layers of micro fleece. This touches the baby's bum and gives it a stay dry feel. And then there are two layers of hemp and cotton on the back. They come in two size options as well, the newborn and small for the tiny G pants and small G pants, and then the medium, large, and extra large for the medium, large, and extra large G pants. So let me show you how you would use this on your baby. First of all, you're going to want to put the insert in the diaper, depending on whether you want to use the disposable one or the reusable one. In this circumstance, I'm going to use the reusable insert. Now the part that faces up is the soft part. This is supposed to touch your baby's bum and it's going to feel a little bit more dry than the other side. You'll know which side is which by the little orange G tag. That tag faces down. The first thing that's going to puzzle you is the fact that the insert looks a lot bigger than the liner that it's supposed to go into. The reason for this is this is what's supposed to give the diaper a U shape. So once you get it stuffed in there, it's going to get that U shape and it's going to help prevent leaks. Now it's time to put it on the baby. So this baby isn't obviously big enough for this, but I'm going to do it just for the purposes of giving you an example. You know it's the back of the diaper where you see the G. So you'll lay the baby on the other side of that G, put the baby in there, and then you're going to pull up the front of the diaper. Now, disposables usually cut kind of low on the tummy. You'll find a lot of cloth diapers you get a little bit close to the belly button. So get it up to that belly button and then secure the tabs around the back of the baby. They're in the back here and that's nice that it helps prevent a baby from taking the diaper off if you have a baby that tends to do that. So here's what happens when the diaper gets soiled. You take out the insert and you can wipe it down a little bit. It's really nice that there's a wipeable inside here. And then you put in a new insert. You may also choose to completely replace the liner in here. And if you do that, you just unsnap these and put in a new one. If we look at the main findings, the diaper performed very well in being a trim diaper, but did not receive as high scores for absorbency, especially in its ability to serve as a nighttime diaper. The diaper performed better on skinnier babies than on chunky babies. When comparing the overall score with the average score of all all-in-two hybrid diapers, it is slightly lower. However, the diaper did perform above average in trimness. Many did have concerns with the diaper leaving red marks. Respondents were also very impressed though with the fact that the inside of the cover is wipeable. When we look at the fit on different baby types, we see here that the skinnier babies experienced the best fit with these diapers. The diaper did not have as good of a fit on chunkier babies. 
The diaper received very high scores in trimness, and I would have to agree. I have this diaper and the fit and trimness of it is fantastic. It seems as though as far as trimness is concerned, it is great, but the absorbency just needs to be a little bit better. Pros of the diaper, that it's quick drying, trim, the inside of the cover is wipeable, the fit, and cute colors and prints. Cons of the diaper, it's difficult to put on, leaks, expensive, and leaves red marks. You can find where you can buy this diaper by searching G Diapers at clothdiaperretailers.com and you can see who carries the diaper and compare things like shipping, location, specials, and a lot more. If you've tried out this diaper, or any diaper for that matter, please head on over to paddedtushstats.com and fill out a survey for diapers. These survey responses go towards statistical reviews like this one and help a lot of people in making cloth diaper decisions. So thanks again everybody.